Hello, I'm Karen Christensen and I live in Defiance, Ohio. I'm beginning my 31st year of teaching this year. John McCutcheon, one of my favorite singers, has a song he wrote about uh, Christmas and he's talking about an incident that happened in World War I. And in that song he says, the war was waiting for me after school. And I think the war has been waiting for our families for the last five years. I felt that five years ago, the war was waiting for me after school. I looked on the internet and saw all these families from Baghdad. They were eating and they were singing and they were partying. They looked just like my families around here at church and in school and in my town. And I felt this overwhelming sadness of impending doom. We were talking about weapons of mass destruction back then, which never appeared, but which have cost us lives in Baghdad and in this country. My family has a number of people involved in this war. My one nephew trained soldiers for a long time. He'd gotten through school um, with promises of school. He ended up with war. My niece and her husband were both ROTC people getting their education by um, joining the armed forces. She's a nurse waiting for him now to get back from Iraq. His job is to pick up the dead bodies. On a daily basis, I don't know what that does to a person to pick up dead bodies, but I'm hoping he will come home and reestablish his relationship with his wife, my niece, and that life will go on. I want all of our soldiers to come home. It's time. Uh, it saddens me to see recruiters in the school because I know what's waiting for the students after school. The war is not something that we're winning. It is not something I understand a reason for. One of the lines in John McCutcheon's song says, the ones who call the shots won't be among the dead and lame. And it's been said that making war is easier than making peace, but I think it's time to begin the hard job of making peace. It's time to send our troops home. It's time for us to put our war dollars into other places, such as support of the elderly and educating our children. We're human, we make mistakes. We need to learn from our mistakes, and we need to start moving into the hard job of making peace. Talk to those who call the shots by letter, by phone, by email, or in person. Ask them, why do we continue this war? Why have so many died? Ask them if they can redirect that money to building futures in the United States. Speak for the children. They need your voice. Please sign the petition below.